Hello KB again, it's Melkea and today I want to show you my nightly routine on how I prevent stretch marks in my belly by moisturizing and also how do I do my skincare with my face while keeping organic and natural mommy and baby safe products and it's been quite a journey finding you know going back to the organics because a lot of what you could find on the shelf moisturizers and skincares has a lot of preservatives has a lot of chemicals that you don't want to use because it goes right into your bloodstreams and it still will find a way to get in touch with your baby so you want to make sure that you go clean with your products and so I'm excited to actually show you these simple and affordable products that you could access right at home I'm really excited for this video right now I will show you what I use for my belly then I'm gonna show you what I use for my face and I'm just gonna put my whole entire hair in a ponytail because especially when you use the oil based products you don't want to ever get in contact with your hair you'll just end up with this oily hair and you know some people can deal with that but it drives me crazy my hair is so healthy that it's already healthy in itself and if i add any more oil to it it just gets so oily One thing that I love to use is this um, hair headband and this is a multi-purpose one. I've been using this every single day because not only do I use it to keep my hair out of my face, I've actually used this for like a night's sleep. It actually blocks the sunlight really well and it's comfortable and it's soft. Super eye oily because somehow my hair gets in contact with my face. So I got this body butter. It's honestly my favorite body butter of all time because it has a peppermint white chocolate flavor to it but I just love the smell and it's not overbearing but one thing I love about this is the consistency it's like nice and thick it actually feels like a fudge inside and I love it because I just love 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 the smell and I've used it up already I actually get this brand from my friends it's local from uh, BC and so I love to support small business but also I can assure that their heart is to make sure that mamas and babies are safe when using skincare products so what I do is I just grab a little bit lather this entire belly I don't forget the sides is very important and the back as well get where my bum is I would wake up in the middle of the night for the reason because my back is itchy it feels like my skin is literally stretching to make room and expand for my growing babies and it's really important to get your back your sides even closer to your pelvic bone you just want to be safe right <laughs> and be sure that everything's covered because one stretch marks there it's there so so far i've been doing really well i've been really disciplined with this we're going to talk about two products here i like to use jojoba mix with coconut oil my naturopath actually recommended that these are the best two simple products that would help prevent stretch marks during your pregnancy in your belly i've also um done um almond oil as well on my face and then my belly i really like how hoba so you just spill a little bit on your belly you rub it dub dub your sides so all covered so you've really oiled up so you see I don't always do the body butter and and all the oils all together so sometimes if I lazy I just do the body butter or I would do the body butter during the day and the oil at night 90% of the time I do coconut oil just because I could use a lot more on my belly one thing to not forget is also getting your boobs 
because your boobs are also growing in pregnancy and so you want to make sure that it's going to be stretch mark free. My friends who hooked me up at this Lovable Organics, and this is not a sponsor, they gave me some friend discount but they didn't pay me to do this because I actually really love their products and they hooked me up with some nipple cream as a congratulations so I'm gonna be testing those ones I give birth so far I'm just showing you the products that I currently use right now at 20 weeks now that we're done with your belly let's do our face something that I've struggled with in pregnancy is acne I don't deal with it as severely as other women in pregnancy has but it definitely was there especially in my first trimester when my hormones were just like sparking everywhere and so one thing that has helped me is this revelation thank you jesus that one of my friends who have been in beauty for over 10 years has told me and that is switching to oil-based products because i used to use charcoal cleansers and really harsh cleansers and they have just broken out my face. It really strips away the natural moistures that I had in my face and one thing I learned about oil-based products is that it's actually really healthy for you. It's natural, it gives you that glow and it prevents acne and it doesn't strip you away from the natural oils that you have on your face. It's worked for me. It allowed me to actually maintain and control the acne that I was experiencing and now I don't really deal with it anymore. So there's a cotton ball and what I do is that I would actually just remove all the makeup I had the entire day. What you can do is you can actually buy an oil-based cleanser or you can use castor oil and mix it with either olive oil, coconut oil, or almond oil, which are my favorites. I feel so fresh now that it's all gone. One of my most favorite masks of all time that I had used is this actually inexpensive mask I found at TJ Maxx or Winners in Canada. It's this Pearl Essence Turmeric Honey and Reviving Mask. And the reason why I say this is because it leaves your face just, again, revived. It's like revival for your face. I uh, probably do this twice a month, not as frequently as I did before I got pregnant. It's actually surprising that even though this is an on-shelf product, the 12 most concerning ingredients in the skin product they'll want to avoid during pregnancy is actually not on here, you know, but you know, just to be sure, I would get you to double check. But this has really worked well for me to really revive my skin, so I'm gonna put it on. I just wait this out for about 10 to 20 minutes until it dries up. It got dried up! So I'm gonna go wash my face while I'm in the waiting process. I finally woke up because earlier I was so sleepy, I actually woke up from a nap. Do you see how like plush and fresh my face looks now? That I don't look like the Dead Sea or like dried flaky rock. Like I just feel refreshed. Like I just feel like... I just rose up from dead like Lazarus, come on. <laughs> so one thing that I like to use while I'm pregnant and it's pregnancy safe apparently is, I've just been doing my research, asking other moms, going on Google, is this hyaluronic, I could never say it, Hyal hyaluronic acid 2%. If I said this wrong, please correct me. From Ordinary. Pop some on my thighs, on my Cheek. And I am just gonna rub a dub dub. I'm gonna pat my face. Rub a dub dub. Bum ba 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 ba. I'm finally awake. I got this from Lovable Organics. This is the moisturizer that I've been using. And it's basically made with beeswax, avocado oil, and essential oils. This is just like three weeks old and I've already used up a lot of it. So you basically you just spread this like this. Pros and cons with this one, and I guess this is an honest review, and that is I love the product. Like honestly, it helps me contain my acne. I haven't really gotten acne after buying this. Very healthy for you, very good ingredients. But one thing is just with all the base products, it just I gotta keep a ponytail on throughout the night and this headband or else I get again oily hair. 
and just gets on my pillows and everything the only thing i don't like about it is that you have to rub it in here so i have to really make sure that my hands are clean i'd rather have it in a like a pump or a tube you know i just feel like it's cleaner so that's the only thing and i felt like i while i rub it i have to because it's hard because of the beeswax i have to melt it in my hands which is like it's fine it's like extra work but overall love the product recommend it i think it's super just simple plain um ingredients and also one thing with uh, skincare products is i gradually changed what i was currently using because you don't want to be abrupt in like using new products in pregnancy and a lot of the oils i actually started before pregnancy already so it wasn't like a big shock for my bodies i have been staying away from you know things that they did say stay away from example like sage ro rosemary and none of my products no longer has that where previously i used to use rosemary a lot on my hair on my shower on my shampoo because it would just overtake the smell and it would smell like spa i usually have a natural lip balm that came from lovable organics as a freebie or just like a you know beeswax um tonight i'm gonna use a lineage blah, 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 sleeping lip mask and it smells good so yeah i just put this lip mask overnight because the one thing i've noticed is that my lips have just been really chapped but overall all of the favorite products if i were to choose my most favorite one would uh, probably be the body butter and i'm on the fence between the hoba and the turmeric reviving mask but i love this mask and out of all the masks i've ever used this has been definitely my favorite one because it provides me the results that i need for such little money i got this for 6.99 Canadian dollars and that is all so that is all for this video I hope you guys learned a lot and I just pray that I have helped a lot of the mamas out there who is probably in their first trimester second trimester and wondering what is the best way to go about this because there's a lot of things on the internet but this is what I found helpful just sticking to the organic oils I'm also seeing a naturopath which has also been a big help for me at this time because they can answer things that a midwife can't answer or other doctors because they have experience in a lot of natural stuff. One thing that I do want you to watch is this video and I hope that you enjoyed that and that you would find it very helpful and add value to your life. I want to pray for you before you go and that is to just for you to receive peace in this process. A lot of things are changing and you need every grace every prayer that you need so i just want to pray lord jesus i pray for these mamas out there thank you that you are with them you, you are close you're close you're close you're in i thank you jesus that you're close you're close you're close and you are so near uh, to them father thank you that your presence would guide them give them wisdom discernment and peace in jesus name in the process comfort and confidence and faith as they go about all the changes in their body in their life um with their new babies and so we just bless these mamas that they would walk in this process with ultimate supernatural joy in jesus name amen all right i'll see you guys in the next video